Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're going to be going over all the updates that they've been pushing out. I just want to quickly do like a video just talking about all the updates so people aren't missing out on certain things because there's stuff that they didn't really talk about um, and I want to kind of like just go over them. So yeah, if you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you do leave a like on this video. Make sure you do subscribe. We're almost at 700 subs. Um, I don't know if we're going to reach it by the time this video comes out, but hopefully we can reach it and then hopefully try to reach our goal, our next goal, which is like 800 or maybe even 1,000. So yeah, like I said, do turn on the notifications as well so you guys aren't missing out on any new content, especially with Cold War stuff coming out soon. Uh, the beta should be already out and I'm just trying to record as much content as I possibly can. Uh, but yeah, let's go into the update. So when it comes to the update, you obviously, there's a new background. Everybody noticed that. I like this night type of vibe, lightning, all that type of stuff. So I really enjoy this. Uh, when it comes to playlist update, we do have uh, ground war. They didn't change ground war. I think it's back to regular ground war. Uh, then gunfight. I think this is what is this? Uh, Deathmatch domination and drop zone. So something different. Gun game TDM sounds like a really f uh, decent game mode. But I might try that out in my recorded video. Uh, hopefully by 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 the time the playlist is an update. And then headquarters firefight. Those playlists, um, I'm just waiting for a shipment playlist at this point. <laughs> I don't play this game that often unless there's a shipment. Because I'm so, you know, I'm basically like done with this game for me personally. I can go for Obsidian on more stuff, but it's just whatever. So those are like the main things. And then whenever you go to your operators, they added a new function where you can actually, if you see on the right above domino where it says coalition, I can set a random character. So if I press uh, right trigger, for example, on uh, Allegiance or like Domino, whenever I enter a game, it's always going to give me a random character. I kind of like this feature it's just because like if I have so many characters like there's so many possibilities and you just don't know what to rock you can just you know put on the randomizer it's literally right there um, and then like obviously you can't see the character because it's gonna be randomized so now obviously I can remove it and go back to my basic setup I think I need to change bail I don't get why I remove uh, Farah so I gotta put her back on but yeah, I like this kind of feature. And then they also added the same exact feature for uh, calling cards and stuff. So whenever you go to your uh, emblems, I'm also gonna make another video talking about this because I see a lot of people actually DMing me on Xbox and stuff like that about this challenge. So I might make another video talking about this emblem. Um, but yeah, they added a new feature for emblems as well. So you can have a randomized feature right here. So you can have you can even set favorites on certain. Um, uh, certain uh, emblems that you like and you can just randomize them so whenever you log into a game or whatever you have a different calling card you have a different emblem um same thing for calling cards like i said if you scroll all the way up it, they should have the same exact features and i like these functions it gives us like a little bit of a leeway of like what stuff to use and stuff like that i do have a lot of calling cards i think i have what 379 same thing with emblems i'm at what uh i think i have a lot of emblems too yeah 417 i'm missing a lot just because i haven't uh finished all these uh uh, mastery ones but yeah that's a cool feature that they added i uh, really do enjoy that and then when we go to the store this is where it gets, it gets juicy i like this pack a lot and the reason being is they added so this uh vorbal blade it's you know it's for the i think it's for the dual swords i like this because it's purple you know purple is my favorite color uh but it has an effect so whenever you slice that there, there used to be like a a bug in the game before with the previous swords i think it was the swords that i have i think it's uh what is it the from when you it's when you get the swords with let's see i think i have a class of with yeah, the yeah the duke is a uh, daimo whenever you used to have these and you had camels on these it would have a slice effect like of a like a white like uh like a white slice effect whenever you slice somebody you have like a wind type of effect yeah and it was a bug and a lot of people were just like you know just, they probably just updated so it has that no it was actually a bug and they were actually testing it out to add it to the vorable blade so with the vorable blade it has tracers everyone's like oh what the hell why would it have tracers i don't know <laughs> how a sword can have tracers um i'm pretty sure when you you know you get cut up you know you turn into tracers but the thing is whenever you get uh, killed by the swords you turn into a bunch of blocks and I actually like that a lot so that's a pretty cool idea from their end same thing with the assault rifles for the AN which I was actually surprising if this was an AN I thought this was an AK I was like are you serious we're getting another AK variant but um and they actually put a decent class setup on this not it's not too bad um but basically with this one same thing it has the orange or like the 8-bit tracers like you guys can see in the pictures and then also um you basically turn into a bunch of blocks whenever you die same thing with the p90 setup as well 
and I actually like this, so I might buy this sooner or later. I don't know yet. But uh, if, if not, I'll probably save up my god points for the next god. Then we got a new ghost uh, pack as well. Um, I think I have a picture of this in one of my thumbnails, but ghost finally got a new skin. Um, it's more Halloween themed, so it makes sense. Uh, just to go with the whole skulls and stuff like that. Then we got a new melee weapon. It's for, I think, the combat knife. I thought this was for another sword. It looked like a sword in that picture, and I was like, dude, we're getting another sword. But now nah, I wasn't. And then I think there's a few other ones that we got. Yeah, there's a new Shaga, like I said. I already have a Damascus, so be sure to go check out those those videos. Pretty broken, and this variant actually looks really decent. I'm actually surprised on how they did this. And it actually has good attachments on it. I think the only thing you need to change is probably, like, get rid of the optic, and then change your ammunitions if you want to. But overall, it's still a really clean variant. And then, this was already here. I'm pretty sure the skeleton one, but we'll go over it real quick. Um... It has tracer fires on it. It doesn't say it in the picture, but it has tracer fire. Um, stuff like that. And then I think the acid spill's been there. Yeah, it's a pr and then I think there was Death Death Valley one that they just added recently. So this one, it's whatever. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna hype it up too much, but not a fan of it. But overall, those are when it comes to the store and everything like that. But when it comes to update, obviously we got the new weapon, which was a shotgun, JK or JK12 uh, gunsmith. Uh, a shotgun which is an a a12 it's really op um i have two or three videos already up on my channel talking about this so be sure to go check those out if you want to see like an in-depth class setup or just how it looks with damascus and everything like that. that but those are like when it comes to the main thing and then also they had a buff and nerf to the two new sniper rifles not the well one of the new sniper rifles and the car 98 uh so they actually nerfed a few things they actually uh, i think it was like the damage range uh the minimum damage range for the sniper rifles for the uh, spr 208 and then they nerfed i think they buffed the car people were saying that they nerfed it they buffed it uh from what i heard i think it's just a buff it's a buff to the car 98 for minimum range so it's actually really cool but but it's mainly for warzone i feel like this would be a buff it's not mainly for a uh, multiplayer so it is what it is so I like those types of buff. I was hoping for like more of a buff, like a nerf to like actual guns, but I don't think they're gonna do any more. Um, they're probably gonna do one to the <laughs> AA12. They're probably nerfing it. But when it comes to buffs and nerfs, I still want to see the AUG get a buff in some sort, and then the AK, because they're giving that stuff way too much love. It's been getting a lot of a lot of new stuff in the barracks as well. When it comes to uh, or not barracks, when it comes to challenges, uh, and they didn't add any new master challenges other than these. But these been here since when the season dropped, so. I mean, you guys can go do these if you guys want to, but they should add, they should definitely add more. I don't get why they're adding, they're only keeping it like how much it is right now. And um, when it comes to battle pass, I'm almost done. I'm just been, I would be done from like a long time ago. Like, like what was it the past like week? I would be done already, but I just haven't been playing God. I've just been so out of it after my whole sleep schedule is just messed up from getting that one officer progression done. So if we go look at my officer progression, um, yeah. Literally, I've, since I'm the only one that has this done, one of the few, so I'll talk about that more in another video. But those are like when it comes to the main parts of the update. There's little things here and there, but those are like the main parts. And I feel like everybody should uh, know. But yeah, I like these randomized features. Um, it's pretty cool because it, you know, it adds a different aspect of me. Just like instead of using the same characters over and over, I can just randomize off, you know, spawn into whatever character. I don't mind it. You know, I'm not really obsessed with. I have to use this character. I have to use that character. So I like this idea. And then they didn't add any new missions either. So when it comes to like uh, weapon skins and everything like that, it's still the same old. Uh, I looked at this the other day, it's still the same old stuff. I still have to finish this riot shield one, it's kind of annoying. So I might get a group of people and just run this because you have to run a party, which is stupid. But uh, I'll definitely get that done and everything like that. Oh yeah, but um, that's going to be it for the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, we're almost at 700 subs, like I said. And if we already reached it, hopefully it can uh, go to 800 and maybe even 1,000. Um, and also turn on your notifications. I do check who turns on the notifications as well uh, through analytics. So be sure to turn it on so you guys aren't missing out on any new content. Especially with the Cold War stuff coming around. I'm trying to push out as much content. Uh, just so we can keep on growing and pushing out more content as usual and uh also if you do want to add me or whatever i have all my socials in below even for xbox you guys can add me uh hit me up with any questions you guys got um to do for activision you guys can add me just look up uh when it comes to things just put the real on and that's literally popping up on your screen right now so you guys can do that and add me and then we can play sometime and yeah like i said i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys